What if the key to your happiness is hidden in the one thing you have been avoiding? As we explore today's title, we'll discover that forgiveness is the cornerstone of your emotional freedom. It is here in the depths of acceptance that you will find the peace that you have been searching for. Thank you for joining me. My name is Varni and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you for all the ways that you have been allowing me to grow my channel. Now, take a deep breath and clear your mind. Taurus, I'm about to dive right in. Okay, and there you have it. With the page of intelligence in your mind space, Taurus, this is looking things up. This is having clarity of thought. This is something you might be curious about, something that you might be researching, hoping to be able to move forward with passion, Taurus, in your hopes with something that you have been trying to learn about, something you have been researching perhaps with the Knight of Strength, we are talking about someone who embodies action, someone who wants to go on an adventure. Now the energy that's balancing you, Taurus, is some kind of creation. This is something that you are putting your heart and soul into. This is something you are toiling at, Taurus. Something that you are creating that's allowing you to heal. Now, Taurus, in your fears is an ace of wands. This is a new inspiration. This is the birth of creativity. You're fearing that balance, Taurus. You are fearing the truth behind whatever you are creating. Now what you should know, Taurus, with the page of strength, this is being enthusiastic. This is trying out different things. This is the spark of a new venture, Taurus. Whatever it is you are researching in your hidden position, Taurus, is a new beginning. This might be the one that you are fearing with justice. Now, you in your current environment sit with some kind of understanding with the Ace of Swords. This is a breakthrough moment, Taurus. Something that you have been researching has allowed you some kind of truth, some kind of clarity. And Taurus, you sit in your energy as the king of charisma. This is a king who turns whatever he touches into gold. This is someone who presents mastery over material wealth. This is someone who has the power to create and sustain abundance. This is someone who's a pillar of strength and it is 
this pillar of strength that you are going to be able to use the energy of to be able to proceed, Taurus. Now, if you have wondered, Taurus, whatever it is you are creating is your soul path. With the lovers, this could talk about a choice. With the lovers, we talk about choices that impact you along your path. This is an acceptance of your soul journey. Taurus. Now we could be talking about a very significant soul mate connection, Taurus, but attached to your seven of wands, it tells me that this is your soul path and you are going to be able to put your firm understanding and belief of yourself behind whatever it is you are creating. Now, Taurus, despite your fears, you sit with the energy of the Nine of Coins. This is abundance, Taurus. This is security. This is independence. This might be an independent viewpoint related to whatever it is you are creating. Whatever your inspiration is, Wow, Taurus, with the Nine of Wands, this is some kind of protective space that you are going into or are in. This is going into a space that others have feared to go. This is being willing to put yourself out there. You are going to be fine, Taurus, whatever balance and fairness that you are striving for. Whatever this truth and clarity is, the one that you are fearing, you are putting it out there, despite your fears. And what you should know, Taurus, this, with the High Priestess, talks about your intuition. This talks about Tapping into hidden knowledge, Taurus. This is a s accessing a, a deeper spiritual truth. Now in your hidden position, Taurus, with the Five of Swords, this new beginning, something you might have considered brings you some kind of conflict. Now, you are fearing your intuition currently, Taurus. You are fearing following wherever it takes you. But you are conflicted. Now, Taurus, this might be due to something that you might have experienced in your past. With the Page of Cups, this is just the beginning. This new truth and clarity that you have managed to tap into, Taurus, is only just the beginning. This is your soul path. This is the way that you are going to follow. And that little beginning was the doorway to where you are currently, Taurus, on your soul path. It might have not felt like it in the past. You might only start to see whatever materializes in your current environment. Now the energy taking you forward, wow, Taurus, this is fame. There's a helicopter going outside. Success, Taurus. Wow. This is recognition of your soul path. With the Queen of Cups, we are talking about 
being able to sense what others require and provide it. This is a queen who's trusting of her intuition, allows it to guide her in whatever her endeavors are. With the nine of coins, this might be allowing each energy to be exactly who they are without judgment, without recrimination, only looking at the lessons that have been provided. With the Knight of Wisdom, Taurus, this is the pursuit of love, looking for beauty. This is following one's heart desire, loving who you are, using the Queen of Cups energy. Now this could be talking about someone that you love, Taurus, with the Ten of Cups. This is happy home, happy family. With the Ten of Cups, we are talking about achieving your fairy tale, Taurus. This is harmony. One little step at a time. And in your hidden position, with the Four of Swords, being able to extract that one thread of truth and create the healing that's required, Taurus. This is what you are unaware of, the healing that is required in order to access the Ten of Cups. Now this is where you are headed, Taurus. With the Three of Swords, that little beginning in the past, the one that showed up as something that might have been slightly suspicious. Maybe it just wasn't enough, Taurus. It broke your heart in some way, even though it was the stepping stone to where you are currently. But it was through that, it was through that heartbreak, Taurus, that you were able to transform whatever you have put out there. It was using the energy of heartbreak to reassess your position. With death, we are talking about transformation, endings, a rebirth. This is shedding the old and embracing the new Taurus. Now the energy that's balancing you with the six of strength, wow, from fame and recognition to just a bit more fame and recognition, Taurus, it's waiting for you on the other side. This is what it is. With the six of cups, we are talking about soulmate energy. We are talking about someone you might have known from the past. Someone you might have known growing up, Taurus. Now this is where that heartbreak is attached. Wow. And the transformation brings in something you truly love, Taurus. Now each step of the way, and it is through acceptance, understanding where we have the healing to do, that we are able to find what is truly perfect for us. Now, Taurus, the card under the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. This is the cycles of life. This is feeling as though you are going to be able to celebrate whatever 
is coming your way with the Wheel of Fortune, we are talking about tr the transformative nature of change that brings growth. Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed this tattle. Until your next one, bye for now.